What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek. And today I am talking to you about the Power Platform Admin Center and we're gonna talk about where are my flows. So this is kind of a common thing that a lot of people have, which is you start to build more and more flows, but then eventually things are happening in the system and you don't really know why they're happening in the system and you can't find a certain flow. And this is going to help you see all your flows and kind of understand where they are. So I'm going to go through a couple of things and I'll show you the current Power Platform system and then I'll show you the Admin Center. So in Power Automate here, if I click on the Flows button, I can see all these flows. So I can see my flows. So these are all the flows that I've created. I can see team flows. So these are flows that are shared with me or I've shared with other people. I can also see my business process flows and my UI flows. So I can see all of these, all of these are in the context of me having access to them and me being the owner of them in some cases. What if I want to see a flow that is in an environment but I didn't create? Where do I find that? In this admin, in this platform center, we can't do that. We can't find it. And this is a common thing. If you start to build more and more flows inside your environment, you won't be able to find some of the flows sometimes or something might happen you go, why is that happening? Is there another flow going on? And that's where the Power Platform Admin Center comes in. So I'll switch over to that now. Um, so this is the Power Platform Admin Center uh, and I can look at all the different environments that I have access to. So I'm an admin in this environment, meaning I can have access to the sort of the overhead or the, the sort of like environments behind the scenes, but I may not have access to those specific environments. So for instance, uh, this one, which is one of my colleagues, Justin Wilkinson's, his environment, I don't actually have that in my list of environments that I can look at, but as I'm an admin, I can actually like do the admin overhead of that. So I can look at what flows he's got and also in my other environments. So to do that, I can click on an environment and I can go up to resources here and I can go flows. And this is going to show me all the flows in his environment. So if I click load more, it's not that anymore, but I can see uh, what the flow is called. I can see its state. Uh, I can see when it was modified. Um, I can also, I also have details in here. Oops, sorry, something went wrong there. Um, but, but I can see certain things and I, I can do certain stuff. Um, if I go back a second, um, if I go to one of my environments, and that's demo environment here, and I do the same thing again, so if I go to resources and I go to flows, I can see all of the flows that are in my environment. So these ones look familiar. These are the ones that we just saw in my uh, in the in the Power Automate Center. So we've got like my OneDrive for Business one that I'm doing at the moment, uh, some other ones and we can see. Again, I can click into these and hopefully if I click details this time, yay, it doesn't fail. So I can see who it's created by and see what it's created on, where it's last modified. I can see the connections that are inside this flow, so that's really important. I can also see the owners. So there's only a single owner at the moment, and that's me. But this is a really handy way to see all your flows in one place. Um, I also have the ability to share this flow with other people directly from here. So I can just start typing in someone's name and share this flow. Um, you know, if I can't find it in Power Automate, I can find it in the admin center. I can share it directly from here. Um, and I can also disable and delete straight from here. So I, I have that capability in the admin center to be able to see all these. But what this also does is these at the moment, these are all flows that are just in Power Automate. So they're outside of solutions. But what this also does is this actually shows me flows that are inside a solution. So if you don't know what a solution is, a solution is a way to kind of package components and then you can move them from one environment to another. So it's a way that a lot of businesses uh, and a lot of consultancies take um, customizations from a dev or a sandbox environment and move them through various environments up to a production environment and therefore allow safer development and safer processes or an ALM and you know that sort of life cycle. Um, so when you put flows into a solution or you have flows in a solution they don't appear in Power Automate in that in that screen where you look at your flows they're inside a solution and therefore you can't see them. So if I scroll down here You'll notice I have this one, oh, I have to load more. Um, I have this one um, here that says S1 quote set approval process, which is disabled. 
I don't have a owner of that one. There is no owner of that flow because there isn't an owner of the flow. It's been created inside a solution. So I know that this 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 here is inside a solution. Um, just the admin sensor decided to have a, uh, a little moment as I've uh, come to do this video tonight. But anyway, I can I can see that there are certain flows that are inside uh, inside of, of um, solutions. So if I click load more, all of these, all these ones without owners, I know that these are all inside solutions. So I know, right, okay, all these ones, these are inside solutions. This one's the one that's causing me a problem. I can go off and find it. So um, I can try and find that. Uh, try and find all these ones now. The only thing we can't do from here, which would be a really great improvement, is actually click and open that flow. Um, but at the moment, we can't do that from inside here. So if I know these these flows are inside solutions, um, that leads me to the question of, well, which solution? That's a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to show you a great tip now for how you can find all your flows. So if we go back to uh, Power Automate here, um, so I said, I've got all these flows here, but some of the ones that uh, we saw in that list aren't in there, in there. So if I go to solutions, and we'll wait for this to load. Now, I know I've got certain flows inside this flow demos one. So I can click into flow demos and I can see, right, I've got five flows there. That's great. But what about all my other solutions and what happens when you have hundreds of solutions? So this is just a, a default uh, environment that I've got. But look at all these solutions. There's, there's Microsoft solutions in here for portals. There's there's various solutions I've installed. Um, you know, there, there's all sorts of things in here. Uh, and it would take me ages to go through all of these and try and find all those flows. So one thing to kind of understand about using solutions and, and flows is that it goes into what's called the default solution. So if you're a Dynamics person, you're kind of used to this idea of solutions and default solution. But the solution is kind of like the bottom unmanaged layer. So when we put something into an environment, um, it will it will go into that layer, and we can we can go in and we can see basically all the components inside of your uh, environment in that layer. So if I scroll all the way down, the last one down here is the default solution. Not to be confused with the common data service default solution, which is you know that's even more confusion confusing. So if I click this now. This is going to open up and this is going to show me every component inside of my environment. Um, so this is a CDS environment, which means I've got all my, um, all my, all my, um, you know, my sitemap, my applications, my entities, my web resources, my fields, my forms, my, you know, everything is in here. So it, it is a little bit, um, a little bit, is it a little bit overwhelming? But I can, um, I can do a filter for A to Z and I can scroll down and then get all these sorts of things. I wish there was an easy way to uh, do this. I think there's a, do I search flow in here? Ah, okay, yeah, I can filter, there we go. Click. So click up here, click filter, and then you can see all of your flows in your entire organization inside of the default solution. So that is a quick and easy way so you can find all your flows and you can go, right, this one's the one that's causing the problem. I can go and disable that and edit it. Now, ideally, if you're using this in in sort of an like a you know an automated process or um, an ALM process, you want to go back to your dev environment. You want to find that flow inside a solution or add that flow to a solution, and then make the update there. But just in case you need to disable something quickly and you're just struggling to find it, this is where you can come in and this is where you can find it. So I hope that explains where your flows are. Um, it's, you know, in the Power Platform Admin Center, is a great tool there to look at your resources and find your flows. It's really handy. It does identify flows that are just in an environment and flows that are in a solution by having no owner. So that's really helpful for us. And then we can use a default solution to then go and find all the other flows. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, if you could like it and share with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.